guys, I want to introduce to you Luna, my keyboard pet. Luna reacts to how fast you type. She will sit, walk, run, jump every time you hit the spacebar, sneak around when you have control pressed, and bark at people on the internet when you have caps lock engaged. Let's see how you can get your own keyboard pet. For the sake of simplicity, I'm going to assume that you know already how to deal with QMK. In this case, I just copied the default folder into a new keymap that I named Luna. Once you copy the default folder, or maybe you're starting with your own keymap, you want to make sure that in your rules.mk file, you have WPM enabled, set to yes. I'm simply going to copy it there. Now we can switch to the keymap.c file. Here we have my code, and on the left side we should have your key map. We can now scroll down. I've marked with comments all the code that we need to take. It starts here, and I'm just gonna copy all of this until here, and paste it straight inside your code. You can paste it pretty much anywhere, just make sure that you don't paste it inside another function. Now that you have the functionality of the keyboard pad implemented in your code, you want to render it somewhere on the screen. In my case, I want to add it on my master side, so I will need to scroll down until I find the print status narrow. At the very bottom of the print status, I want to copy in my instruction. We also need to copy this bit over here inside the function OLED task user. And it's missing one last bit. It's in process record user. At the very bottom of all of these switch keys, we can copy in this part over here. This should add Luna to your screen. I hope you guys enjoy. See you later.